family welcome back to another video if you're new here hi i'm autism mom and on this channel we talk about autism and everything in between today we're doing another fair use reaction video let's take a look at the video This video was taken from this TikTok page and handle. <sighs> this hits home. And for some of us parents, this is going to be our reality. And I want you out there who's judging us or who think you're going to judge us from for making such a decision to know that This is not in our hands. We're not doing this on purpose. If we can hold on, we hold on for as long as we can. Because we try. We go above, around, above and beyond for our kids. But sometimes it's safety. Autism comes with a lot of things. And safety is one of the main things that would make a parent make a decision like this. So please don't judge parents like us. Please don't judge a parent for making a decision like this. Because if you were in their situation, you don't know what you would do. Let me give you an example. If a man would hit you. You'll call the police and they'll have him locked up. Or you will want to have him locked up. But if your child hits you. Do you carry the same weight? If your child hits you. And out of reflex you hit them back. And something happened to them. You'll get locked up. But do we look at the fact that. You've been getting hit for years. And in order to avoid all of this. If and but pull and push. It's better to not let it get to that. When you see that your child is really violent and oh, they get violent. It's better to take certain decisions like this and save your child, save yourself from a lot of harmful things that can happen. Put safety as the main reason because it can go like this. No cash. Please, please, please. It can also go like this no 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 all done does the parent have the right to have a limit is it fair to the parent that she get hits all the time if it was the other way around won't you want your your the the man or the the mom to be in jail but what if it's the other way around as a parent we can't put our child in jail when the parent do it, it's called abuse. When the husband do it, it's called abuse. But when your child does it to you, what is it called? Then all of a sudden, we're looking for all kinds of naming and branding and diagnosis and signs and symbols. So in order to avoid all of that, let's just 
go ahead and put safety first and then take this step not because we want to but because we need to keep everybody in the situation safe and out of jail how much do you think a parent can take how long do you think a parent should take it and you sit there and you wait for your child to get out of your house at 18 21 this for us is forever we don't have a choice you have a choice we don't our life is bound to this there's no end for us in sight so when parents take this step just remember there was a reason and yes my family might not like my reason because soon enough i will be in their place i'm hoping to hold on till i'm until 18 but the way things are going i don't know if i can do that but i'm pushing i'm pushing but when i feel like it's too strong now i can't even defend then i won't be left with a choice if you understand what i'm saying let's go to the comment section first commenter says it's the my child has autism i would never comments for me my son has autism too and thankfully i didn't have to autism is a wide spectrum stop judging and be grateful it's not you be grateful it's not you their parents walking around here with four and three and two hours of sleep a day for years let's see if you can handle that there's parents walking out here with no teeth busted lips blue eyes broken noses guess who did it but no how could you give your child away how could you give up on a child how about you take them busted noses next commenter i have a son with autism this just breaks my heart he probably so confused waiting to go home and be in his safe i could never abandon my kids here we go again with a, a never thankfully there are parents in there who understand the struggle somebody else says parents are always welcome 24 7. although i work in this field i know i would utilize the service if my child needed that level of support another commenter says i feel the same but i'm trying real hard not to judge and see it through their eyes lily says so what that doesn't do anything for the kid who is alone sleeping in a strange bed with strange people does it do anything for the parent who he is abusing and assaulting on a daily basis brothers and sisters who he is assaulting does it do anything for them that they're all in the same environment only for the cops to come and see him in a meltdown and 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 confuse it for something else and maybe draw something and pew 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 because those have happened too because the child was in a meltdown or maybe he hits out a reflex or whatever he got hit back now the mother is in jail now what wasn't he going isn't he going to the same place next commenter i worked at one of these facilities for four years and i can tell you we love on those kiddos like they're our own he's in a he's in good hands in jesus name next commenter from another autism mom no one can understand this if they haven't lived it i'm glad you're at peace with your choice and that your son is learning and growing independence big hugs for you next for everyone that's judging the parents walk a mile in their shoes it's easy to say what you wouldn't do if it's not your journey right i agree next i have a son with autism this brought tears to my eyes i could never abandon my son never say never wait until you get that headbutt or that nose punch or that right cheek punch bet you'll be singing other songs somebody else said me too my son 12 with autism and i'm a single mother but i can never do this and here comes a mom how dare you say such things be sympathetic for this family you the parent have a responsibility to keep your child and others safe this mother knows the danger for the future and god help exactly what a selfish view it's not about you it's about giving your child the support they need to be safe that's how i look at it next commenter you don't give up on your kids no matter what wait he gotta stab you first probably you gotta be on the ground pin can breathe type of thing right somebody else said it's not about giving up another responded this is not giving up this is giving care i like that wording i worked for a single mom who had a son same as this boy she took him to see the group home and he got excited he was jumping and flapping he loves it so much 
Next commenter, the state school my uncle lived in for almost 50 years was the best thing for him and our family. He thrived there and we were eternally grateful. To anyone who thinks this is abandonment, I can only simply state that you're 100% uninformed and wrong. A next commenter, it is abandonment for many, many of the people in those schools. Great if your family is still involved, but it's absolutely not true that most aren't abandoned as the healthcare worker who is there. I can only express my own opinion on the state school my family worked with. They are miracle workers for all their residents. Next commenter, coming from a mother with a child with autism and ODD, I can understand your decision. Hope he gets the, the help he needs. Sometimes our village looks different from others. It takes a village to raise. It took a long time to realize my brother needed a team to care for him and not just me. I love the way you worded this. Very true. It takes a village. Yes, this. Hmm. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this video. I just want to give you this. Don't judge parents who have to make this decision. Always know that it's for safety reason. A parent wouldn't just do this if it if they weren't pushed to the ultimate edge and had no other choice. Safety comes first for us and our kiddos. Catch you in the next one. Bye.